Oh, hey, I'm Mr. C, and today we're going to talk about basic addition facts to 10. These are super important addition facts, and they create really important fact families. Okay, I'm going to link it to subtraction in my next video, but right now it's important that we, re that we understand why knowing our addition facts to 10 is even important. So go ahead and ask it, please. Ask me now. Why is this important? Well, there's a couple of good reasons. Once you memorize your addition facts to 10, and once you know your additives to 10, you are going to be a faster mathematician. Your brain is going to start to create these pathways. And as you strengthen them and memorize them, you'll be able to use them more quickly for automaticity. And you're going to get to see patterns in math much more easily. Now, it may be difficult to memorize them now and to memorize them so you can answer them quickly. That's what automaticity means. But it will pay off down the road in mathematics. When you're moving on to your next concept, I'm thinking multiple digit addition and multiple digit subtraction. Knowing your facts to 10 is crucial and having them memorized is even more important. So let's jump right in and I'm gonna give you all your facts to 10. And I'm even gonna give you a little visual here that while you're learning and checking your work at this stage, you'll be able to use a visual like this or create one of your own to check your own work to see if you're getting the right answers, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at the first question. <clears throat> one plus what equals 10? Hmm. Now, I'm gonna show you how we can use this little chart down here to find that answer, okay? We have, there, there's 10 dots down here. Look, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, okay? Now, when I say one plus what equals 10, well, all I need to do is cross out that one dot and then count the remainder. That's my answer, right? Here's the one plus what. Well, here's the what right here, this, gl this glump of dots down here. Because all together, they equal 10. So let's count the remainder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now you're gonna memorize this soon, but for now, you can see how using a visual like this will get you the answer and help you to check your work. Well, here's the next one. Two plus what equals 10? What are we gonna do this time? If you thought cross out two dots, you're right. And now let's count the remainder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight is the remainder. That means two plus eight equals 10. We're picking up steam now. Let's keep going. This time we're gonna cross out how many dots to figure out the answer of three plus what equals 10? Yeah, it's three. And then we're gonna, did you say count the remainder? You should have, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, let's see how fast we can go through the rest of these. Four plus what equals 10? We're gonna cross out one more dot. Now we've crossed out one, two, three, four. So we can find out the remainder to see the other additive to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, guess what's next? Yeah, yeah, five plus what equals 10? Let's cross out our fifth dot and count the remainder. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, five plus five equals 10? Yeah, you should know that. And if you don't, you do now. Six plus what equals 10? Crossing out my sixth dot. Here's the remainder. One, two, three, four. We're almost done. The end is nigh. That means near. Seven plus what equals 10? Let's cross out the seventh dot. What's our remainder? You count this time. Did you count three? Are you seeing a pattern? Yeah, there is a pattern here. Look, these red numbers are getting smaller as the white numbers are getting larger. And that is going to continue when we cross out our eighth dot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've crossed out eight dots. And then we count our remainder. One, two. Yeah, eight plus two equals 10. Cool, last one. It's the easy one. You always give him the easy ones. Cross out our ninth dot. How many do we have left? Just this little one here. 
9 plus 1 equals 10. Now there's a few patterns here that I want to point out. Look, 1 plus 9 equals 10. And then as this white number gets larger, the red number gets smaller. Look, the white numbers go from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 to 5 to 6, 7, 8, 9, where the red numbers count down. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Look, there's also reflecting or mirroring facts here. 1 plus 9 equals 10. But look, also 9 plus 1 equals 10. So really, you only got to memorize one of those. If you know that 1 plus 9 equals 10, well, then you also know that 9 plus 1 equals 10. You should be able to recall that information quickly. That happens again and again. Look, here's 8 plus 2, and here's 2 plus 8. Here's 3 plus 7, and here's 7 plus 3. 6 plus 4, and 4 plus 6. And then look, this is kind of the guy in the middle here. 5 plus 5, that's always the same, because it's the same forward and backwards, right? Cool! All right, whew, let's... So, so now that we know all of our factors, or all of our additives to 10, I should say, let's go over what we learned here. And let's go over the importance of what we learned. First of all, if you memorize these, and you should, and you will if you're one of my students, you memorize these, it's really gonna pay off in future mathematical concepts. I'm talking specifically multiple digit addition and subtraction. And automaticity of these facts is gonna help you to see patterns. Okay? It is going to really make you a faster, uh, a more masterful mathematician in steps to come. So do it. And that's why we always, once we've learned it, we try it. <laughs> All right? I want you to practice doing what I just did with this little 10 dot visual. All right? If you can pause this video and cover up some of the dots, practice your facts to 10. If you're one of my students, you're about to take a bunch of skills practice and then a couple of assessments to show that you've memorized this and you've memorized it quickly. Okay, write them down on paper. Ask your mom or your dad or your brother or your sister or your auntie or your uncle to quiz you on these so that you can get fast, fast, fast before you move on to our next concept. I hope this helped and I will see you next time.